Hello, hello, welcome to another episode of Blue's Tech How To's. Today, we're gonna to be jumping back into Mix It Up app, and this is gonna be a big one. We're gonna be creating an alert box using the events system within Mix It Up so that you can have that alert box using the Mix It Up overlay so there's no need to have an alert box in one spot and commands and channel point redemptions and everything in another. This way you can kind of combine everything into one app using Mix It Up using their pre-made mix it up overlay. So let's dive on into it and I'll show you how to set up a couple of these alerts. Let's do it. So if you haven't set up Mix It Up yet, make sure you check the above videos. Um, we've got a few in there to help you get everything set up, get your accounts connected, and get it connected to the services that you're gonna use. If you are looking for setting up welcome messages, they do classify as an event, and we do have a standalone video for that as well. So however, today we're gonna be looking at those alert box style events. So if you're streaming on Twitch, um, it's the follows, the subscriptions, the bits, the donations, those ones. So. Once you load up the app, you're going to come over here to the upper left hand corner and you're going to click on the third one down called events. That's going to open up this section here. Now you're going to see a few different options in terms of events that you can attach actions and commands to. Today, we're going to be focusing on Twitch, um, but just take a note of what is here that you could possibly add different events to. When we open up the Twitch column, you're going to see a bunch of different events starting and stopping your stream follows hosts raids subs resubs bits even hype trains um, so when you take a look at this list here just kind of start brainstorming what you want to add to each of these create it a fun engaging entertaining alert um, you can keep it simple or you can kind of go all wild using gifts images all that kind of stuff um, so we're going to show you how to set up a couple of these um, first off with the host alert so if you come on over and add a command, you want to open the action menu down here and we're going to go to overlay. So the image and video, hit the plus button. And the first thing we're going to start with is our image. So on our stream, we just have a simple image. But again, this is where you would choose between um, image, which is static or GIF form or videos, which is like MP4. Um, so we're going to leave it on the image. We're going to find our image real quick, throw it in here. And we're going to change the width and height in pixels. So we're going to go, uh, let's go 600 by the height. We're going to go 400, not 4,000. And we're going to set it to a five second duration. Now you can actually set the animations as well. We'll zoom in here for you. So we're going to get it to slide in from the left hand side and we'll get it to slide back out on the left hand side as well. You can set an animation for it while it's on screen, but we're just going to let it sit there. Now again, screen position, you have simple, just kind of choose from any corner or the center of the screen, or you can break it down all the way into pixels if you know exactly where you want it on your screen. We'll leave it simple and we'll just throw this on the left hand side for right now. That's just the image though. So now we want to actually thank the user who triggered the alert by hosting the channel. So you can put something in the chat if you'd like, but by adding another overlay, we can actually put text on the screen as well. So here we're going to put in the proper variable, which is dollar sign username. And from here, we can create whatever we want the, the rest of the text to say. I recommend keeping it short and sweet because it's going to be on your screen. Uh, however, make it your own. So we're just going to say do dollar sign username has hosted the channel. And we'll just put an exclamation point. There we go. Short, sweet, and simple. Um, you can change the font color. We'll put it to the cayenne color, and you can actually put a shadow on it as well. So we'll put a black shadow behind it and italicize it. Again, make it unique, make it your own. This text, we're gonna set to the same five second duration. Sorry, not 50 second duration. We wanna go five second duration. And we'll choose the same animation so that it actually comes in and then leaves at the same, same time and same spot as the image. So slide out left and then we're going to put in the bottom left so that it comes in below the image hit the save button and then when you zoom out you now see your command is made here so again you've got test edit delete and enable slash disable 
When you click the test button, it's just going to confirm which platform you want to test on. Uh, if you have multiple platforms connected, you'll get the option um, between which one to send the alert to. Obviously, under the Twitch category, if you're going to try to send it to Trovo, it won't work. Um, but for some of them, especially like the generic alerts, it might be able to send to any. Hit the test. And there you go. You see it show up on the screen there, but that's a little small. So we want to go back in and let's make this a little bit bigger. So under the overlay, why don't we go 800 by 800 by 600 and then the text we're going to change from 24. Let's go 36. Just make it a little bit bigger. Save again and we'll test it one more time. There you go. Now you see it's a little bit bigger. So depending on how big you want it to be on your screen, you can just kind of play around with each individual element to make it so that they are the proper size, proper spacing, and where you want it exactly on the screen. So now that you've got your host alert set up, let's set up a follow alert. Um, so we're going to use a GIF now in this case. Once again, um, the GIF is an image, but we're throwing it under the overlay. So add an overlay and we're going to add another image. We're going to browse again for our file. So just give me one second. We've got our alerts here. So this is our follow alert. Again, you can adjust the pixels. Um, so let's just go 800 by 800. And we're going to do a seven second duration. We will just leave the animations off for this one. But again, add any animations that you'd like. And let's put this in the upper left this time. We'll add one more overlay here. Um, that is the text. Dollar sign username is the variable for the person who initiates the alert. Has followed too many L's. Has followed the channel. Again, we're going to increase the size of this a little bit. We'll go up to 36 and we'll change the font to let's throw it to deep orange this time. And so we're going to throw that on the left hand side of the screen so that it appears below the alert. If you want it in the same spot or above the alert, you just click the same place as the previous one. So in this case, we're going to go seven seconds as, as the same and hit save. Now, when we test this alert again, just confirm that we're sending this one to Twitch. You're going to see that there. Now, obviously, we've made that a little too big and the words are hard to see. So in this case, we're going to go back in and go to edit. And we're going to shrink this guy down. Why don't we go 500 oops, 500 by 500? And then now, because the words were kind of hard to see on the GIF, let's actually just move them one more time below the GIF. Hit save and then hit test. And now when you test this, you can see that it is right there. The words are right below the GIF and the GIF is actually all on the screen. So play around with sizes, spacing again one more time to get those alerts. But these will now trigger anytime this event happens. If you are switching to mix it up app from a different service, just make sure you disable the alert box on that other service um, once you get this fully built, because otherwise your alerts will be going off twice. So when you're building these, make sure to just disable them until you're ready and keep using your old alert box. If you're doing it all in one go, get everything built, test it all, make sure that it works before you fully switch over. The reason I say that is because last thing you want is for it to actually not work when you go to stream. Make sure you always have a backup if you can. Don't necessarily delete the old alert box, but just disable it. Maybe remove the browser source from your OB OBS, but leave it um, set up in Streamlabs or Stream Elements, wherever you had it previously. But this is a nice little simple tutorial on how to get those event events set up using the Mix It Up overlay so that you can have your alert box in your stream using Mix It Up. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully you found it nice and easy. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you guys next time. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.